meet the people who spend all their time scanning the skies for aliens. They think aliens are the pilots and they're going to land soon. They showed their proof to News 15's Virginia Silva. See for yourself. I did it! I did it! Oh, yeah, I see you. Unidentified flying objects. It was that way. It was that way. They're here and there's nothing we can do about it. Oh, not up there. Look how fast it's moving. Every now and then a UFO will drop out of the atmosphere. This is how Becky and Manuel Escamilla spend their day in Midway, New Mexico. I tend to try to keep my left eye open just in case something does. Who is come this? Overhead, this is someone else. Uh, the clouds are something I can film it and try to follow it. They are trying this to videotape unidentified well, flying objects. Well. UFOs. Just saw something pass at 1056. They've already taped more than 1,000 hours of what they call UFO sightings. I looked up to my right. right. And four objects descended out of the sky. Becky says yeah. she's positive they're not flies, birds, or military aircraft. We don't know why they're here we just document every day um to us it's like witnessing a miracle so we we film it we put our lives on hold so this is miss. all we do they do it 24 hours a day oh my gosh you got it becky and manuel even shut down their business this used to be an old western tourist town now they call it ufo city hoping their new visitors feel welcomed that is something that's very important to manuel because sometimes he gets spooked with what, what he sees a lot of times these objects come over here and i wonder about the whole of that other midway residents say they too are a little scared well sometimes they uh look, you feel like they're watching you real close here in the middle of nowhere, right outside of Roswell, New Mexico, is where all the UFO stories got started. In 1947, something very strange crashed here. At first, the military said it was a flying saucer. Later, they said it was simply a weather balloon. And that's a story the government no longer cares to discuss. I believe that the government has a, a moral and legal obligation to tell the American people the truth. Clifford Stone wrote this book uh, on unidentified flying objects. CIA documents. He calls himself a UFO investigator. And he has thousands of documents that he says prove that UFOs are real. One, UFOs are real. Two, they represent a technology that is far vastly superior what to that which we have today, that? perhaps succeeding us by thousands of years. Whatever these things may be, oh, yeah, I see it. Becky and Manuel say they'll be ready for the day when they finally meet. We'll roll out the red carpet. Yeah. So we just can't wait. Hopefully they'll come here and land. With photographer John Taylor, Virginia Silva, News 15. Now, despite the UFOs, the Escamillas say that they have on videotape, News 15's Virginia Silva and photographer John Taylor say that they never saw anything strange in the skies during their stay in New Mexico. And with all the clouds, tough to spot any UFOs well, yeah. today. Meteorologist Ed Phillips in with the forecast. Actually, those clouds.